Hi guys, welcome to another video by CAC FX Academy. We're just going to take a look at how to configure your MT4 screen from the first installation to how you want it to look like. So this is going to be the very basic stuff, not anything that is complicated. The first things you have to do when you install MT4. If you don't know how to install MT4, I have another video, how to install MT4 on your PC. Link for that is in the description. Take a look at that link. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Okay, guys, I have opened the MT4 Wanda application here for the first time. This is how it will look like when you open it for the first time. Let's take a look at different components of it. Uh, we have the navigator screen here. The navigator screen shows you which account you are logged into and uh, what other accounts you have option of logging into. Make sure you choose the proper account when you're logging into this. Most people have a live and a demo account when you're logging into the account. So when you log in, it will show you up here which account you are logged into. So be careful. Don't go in your live account thinking it's your demo account and start trading some different strategies to try it out because that would be a very expensive mistake. Okay, let's take a look at the market watch window. The market watch window here shows us the quote for that particular currency pair. It shows the bid and ask price and the symbols. Generally, I don't like to keep it here because it's just taking up some real estate. I rather have the chart and I will see the quotes that I'm interested in rather than having all the quotes showing up here. So I like to close this. Since we close it, if you want to open it up anytime, you can go to View and Market Watch. Uh, it will open it up. So it's very easy to do that. So I like to have it closed. Even the navigator window, I like to have it closed. But in the beginning, I would say you guys keep it on. Okay. Now let's take a look at the terminal. The terminal uh, is one of the most important ones because um, it gives you information about your account balance and the trades you are in. The trade tabs give you uh, option of your trade show you will show you the trades that you are in I'm recording this session on a Saturday so I'm not on any trades right now I won't be able to put in any trades but um, we're going to have many different sections later in the course I will show you guys how to put in a trade and how it will show under the terminal session and also the other part I like to use is the account history. It gives me an option of looking at my history of trades, um, whether it's a profit or loss. Other than that, I don't really use any of the other tabs over here, like journal or anything else. Uh, I don't use, I only use the trade and the account history. And I like to have this um, terminal just down there. So just about I'm able to see one or two orders. I don't like it taking too much space inside my chart screen. Okay, let's take a look at the alt most important thing that we have to worry about inside MT4. So we're looking at the charts here. Just going to keep one of them open and close all these. I'm going to close the Euro US. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to close this one. Just have this open and we're going to set it up to our liking here okay first i'm just going to delete um the moving average in there so if you right click and go to indicator list and see you have moving average there just click delete and that will be deleted from the screen then what you have to do is just right click and go to properties. The first thing we're going to do is change it to Japanese candlestick. So right now it is set on bar chart. I'm just going to change it to Japanese candlesticks. Then I'm going to come back here to colors. Okay, we are in the colors properties here right now. I just want to change it to my liking over here. 
but you could set it to any colors that you want and what your preferred colors are. I like a white background, so I'm going to switch that to white. And the foreground, I'm just leaving it as black. And the grid, I like a very light gray instead of um, very, very light gray. So I'm just going to choose custom. And I know if you know, just move this to select the right color or just set it according to the color code. I know the color code for very light gray. It's 236, 236, and 236. So I'm just going to put that and say add to custom color and OK. Then bar up, uh, we're going to choose lime green there. And bar down, we're just going to choose red. And for bull candle, we're just going to choose lime green again. Then for beer candle, then we're going to choose red. Okay, choosing red here. For line graph, I'm just going to leave it. For volume, I'm just going to leave it. For ask line, I'm just going to choose black. And I'm going to say OK. So this is how your chart will look like if you have the same preference as I have selected. But you could change it to anything you want, really. Right? Now, if you want a black background, you could change it to black and set the foreground to a white. Let me just do that just to show you guys. Okay, I'm just going to choose that. Some people like this, and um, you know, you could get rid of the grid if you want to get rid of it. No grid at all. Uh, so it's up to you, really. So that's how you set up the colors in an MT4 chart according to your preference. Okay, now we have set up the colors on our chart. Uh, it looks like this. But when we are opening up new charts for new pairs, we don't want to be doing this again and again. So what I recommend doing is uh, creating a template. So just right click on this and go to template and go to save template. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for this course purpose. Just going to save it and name it color in this case. Okay, let's save that. Now let's open up a new chart. You go to File, New Chart, and it will give you uh, options to open up new charts. So take a look at it. There are some pairs over here, but some won't show up. For example, I don't see US Canada here. So what you need to do in that case, go to View, Symbols, then find US Canada. It could be in any group here. Different brokers like to put them in different categories. So Depending on your broker, it could be in any group here. So we're going to find U.S. Canada. Let's look for U.S. Canada. Okay, we found U.S. Canada over here. I'm just going to highlight that and click show. It will turn gold over there. And uh, that means you are able to open that chart up. So we're going to close this here. And I'm going to go File, New Chart, and I'm going to go Group 17, and U.S. Canada. So it could be in any group. So it depends on the broker. Or I just named their group Group 17. So now I'm just going to right-click on this and load the color template we saved. So go to Template, Load Template. And we saved it on the desktop. So I'm going to choose Desktop. And color open so right now we have our template open and it set it up to our liking colors instead of you know going through the setup again and again so always when you make a change on the colors or when you make a change in the indicators for different strategies uh, save templates for that particular strategy or that particular color code Okay, now we know how to set up the colors and how to create a template. Now let's take a look at the top toolbars here. 
So we have the top two bars here. This is the pointer, as you all know it, and this is the cross. So I like using this to identify the key points and key levels and the pricing. So it's really good when identifying um, different levels on the charts. And these are your drawing tools. You here you have the trend line drawer, uh, horizontal line, vertical line. Here you have Fibonacci. Here you have the text, so you could write something down on the chart. Here's your timer, so chart times. So this is the one minute chart. This is a five minutes chart. This is a 15 minutes. This is a 30 minutes, etc. So you have the zooms here. Um, zoom out and zoom in. And you could switch between the line chart, candlestick, and bar chart. I like to keep it in um, candlestick all the time. And this is an important one I like to use, which is to shift the chart to the middle. So it shows up in the middle, so it's easier to view when the candle is moving instead of being on the edge right here. And also when you want to insert any indicators or anything like that, you just go to insert indicator. You could choose the indicator from trend to oscillators, volumes, etc. Then you have tools, options. You could choose different options and different settings. In options, all I like doing is going to the trade tab and choosing the default trade size. I like to put it at my default trade size, but what I would suggest you guys to do is to set it at 0 0.01. Just in case, you know, when you're doing live trades, um, to set it as, as the lowest amount, just in case if you make a mistake, you shouldn't be making any mistake, but it's the smallest possible order you could enter. It's definitely better than entering a standard order and losing your $1,000 account or $2,000 account in the beginning. Trust me, a lot of Forex traders in the beginning make such mistake. Technically, or oh, in panic, they make this type of mistake. You guys are lucky. I designed this course in mind so you minimize those technical and emotional mistakes. By the end of this course, you guys are going to have what we call in the industry trader mindset. Later in the course, in the trading psychology section, we will take a look at trading mindset more deeper. Okay, we are about done for the basic overview of MT4. But when we go deeper into the course and start looking at the strategies, we will be adjusting the settings according to different strategies. So let's take a look at them later in the course.